Four people injured in September 5 shellings. On September 5, four people were injured by Russian bombardments, said Pavlo Kirilenko, the head of the Donetsk Regional Military Administration. He added that Russian military wounded four peaceful citizens of Donetsk region in Khromove, Georgievka, Bakhmut and Konstantinivka. Another school has been ruined by Russian military in Donetsk region, said Pavlo Kirilenko, the head of the Donetsk Regional Military Administration. He noted that on September 4, at night, the Russian forces carried out a missile strike on the gymnasium, destroying one part of the four-story building and damaging the nearby apartment blocks. Fortunately, no victims. It's the 274th school in the region barraged by Russians from the start of the full-scale invasion and the 29th destroyed to the ground, Mr. Kirilenko emphasized. He pointed out that 615 education facilities have been damaged in the past three months in Donetsk region. As reported by Kharkiv Mayor Ihor Terehov, on the night of September 6, Russian troops dealt two strikes on Industrialny district in Kharkiv. A perished woman was retrieved from under the ruins of a detached house. According to Mr. Terehov, one of the shells hit a detached house. Oleg Sinehubov, the head of the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration, said that the woman was 73 years old. Another shell struck next to another cottage. Its fragments set the house on fire. According to Mr. Terehov's early information, no one was killed or wounded. Sergei Bolvinov, chief of the Kharkiv Regional Police Investigation Department, reported that the officers found fragments of an S-300 missile at the shelling sites. According to the State Emergency Service in Kharkiv region, at around 1.15 a.m., a fire broke out in the two-story house where the second shell hit. The house itself was on fire on the area of about 300 square meters and the roof of an adjacent structure on the area of 15 square meters. At 6.40 a.m., the fire was stopped. As reported by the Kharkiv Regional Prosecutor's Office, the Russians pummeled Kharkiv with missiles launched from Belgorod region in Russia. Investigation into breach of laws and customs of the war is ongoing. Over 24 hours, the rescuers extinguished four fires that were caused by Russian bombardments. Early on September 6, Russian military struck the city. An apartment building was destroyed and an administrative building was damaged. The shelling was reported by Oleg Sinehubov, the head of the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration. One of the shells hit the central part of Kievsky district, said Mayor Ihor Terehov. Mr. Sinehubov added that an apartment building was ruined. Information about victims is been specified. Currently, no one was hospitalized, he wrote. Volodymyr Timoshko, chief of the Kharkiv Regional Police, added that the rescuers and police are working at the shell site. The second shell damaged an administrative building in Kievsky district. Oksana is one of the survivors in the Russian missile attack on Kharkiv on September 6. Living on the fourth floor, she got out from the debris with her son and Guinea Peak. A blast, the house trembled. The kid was hit by ceramic tile fragments in his back and the ceiling fell down on my head. It grew very smoky. We wanted to get out, but our door was blocked. It was damaged and a small opening was left. We wanted to open it, but the neighbor's door fell and blocked our door. It was impossible to go out. I was with my adult son. Everyone from the part of the house evacuated, and in our part only three people remained. They always hid in the basement, and at the moment they were not there. We lost everything in a blink of an eye. In the afternoon of September 5, Russian troops shelled Chervono Grigorivska Hromada of Nikopolsky district. A large scale fire broke out. The State Emergency Service of Dnipropetrovsk region reported this on its Facebook page. According to the reports, in Chervono Grigorivka near power lines, a forest strip and dry remains of wet left after the harvest caught fire. The fire covered three and a half hectares of territory. The power supply was turned off until the rescuers tamed the flames. Two craters were found at the site. There are no casualties or injuries. In the evening of September 5, the Russian army launched two missile strikes on Krivoriski district. According to the report of the State Emergency Service of Dnipropetrovsk region, as a result of rocket attacks in the Karpiv Romada of Krivoriski district, an oil depot and all fuel stocks stored there were destroyed. A fire broke out. 
Valentin Reznichenko, the head of Dnipropetrovsk Regional Military Administration, announced that as a result of the shelling of Nikopol in Dnipropetrovsk region on the night of September 6, two people, namely a man and a woman, were injured. According to his information, the injured were hospitalized in a moderate condition. During the night, Russian troops shelled Nikopolsky district three times from BM-21. In Nikopol, 20 high-rise buildings and 11 private buildings were damaged. One house was destroyed. The shells hit a kindergarten, two lyceums, a center for technical creativity and a sports club. Several gas pumps and cars were mutilated. The power lines are damaged. More than 2,000 families are without electricity. There are no dead or injured in Marhanes Gromada. In Marhanes Gromada, according to detailed information, six houses, three household buildings were damaged and one building was completely destroyed. The gas pipeline and power line were cut off. In addition, in the morning of September 6, Russian troops fired a rocket at Krivirih. An oil depot was on fire. Rescuers are working on the spot. The military administration reported that at night and in the morning the Russian military fired on Bilopilia and Shalihine Hromadas in Sumer region from mortars and artillery. A total of 36 explosions were recorded. There are no victims among the population. In the village of Volfene in Bilopilia region, windows are broken and the walls are damaged. Now the field is being blowed after winter wheat. The wheat harvest from the fields in the Kolomatska Hromada in the west of Kharkiv region was harvested three weeks ago. The harvest has been completed. More than planned was collected, almost 7,000 tons, says Oleksandr Ovsanik, director of the Agri-Industrial Department of the Agrotrade Group. This cluster, although part of it, came under hostilities. This particular enterprise was not affected. We had an unprecedented amount of rainfall, so this has opened up even more potential. At the local plant, up to 40 tons of grain are cleaned daily, packaged and sent for sale. The grain will be used for sowing in the current season. The rainfall increased yield, but harmed grain quality, says Ovsanik. It has lost its color and is low in protein and gluten. Although it is natural, but the precipitation washed out everything it could. Today it is not as profitable to grow winter wheat as it was in previous years due to difficulties with implementation, delays in ports, logistics. The price of grain is affected by this year's harvest and last year's leftovers, says Ovsanik. Currently it is such that it allows to cover expenses and make money. I think the price will be the same as this year, but if the ways to implement the export of grain from Ukraine are opened, it is certain that this will raise the price of grain. The harvest is still going on in the fields of the Zolochev Gromada. Because of the shelling, only a quarter of the crop could be harvested. Another part of the sown areas in Kupiansky district is now under occupation, says Ovsanik. The total area is more than 5,000 hectares of land. We tried to collect grain in order to distribute it to people there. It rested on the fact that we drew a lot of attention from the Russians. They arrived, and that was the end of it. Harvesting in Kharkiv region continues in five out of seven districts. The military regional administration informs farmers collected more than a million tons of grain three times less than last year. In the Kharkivsky and Lozivsky districts, the harvest has already been completed. In Kolomatska Hromada, 700 hectares of fields are being prepared for new sowing. Of course, there are risks that we may again be adversely affected by hostilities. For winter crops today, the conditions are quite good to get seedlings and start working with them. According to Avsanik, the fields of Zolochev Hromada will not be sown.